Hey everybody, it's me, <laughs> the missing Joy Bernhard. <laughs> it just dawned on me, I'm alone. <laughs> it's quiet, nothing's going on. Oh, what a week it has been. I think today makes it a week since we got to Oklahoma City to deal with our building. We have had sad, 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 sad realizations of how awful this company has been to our employees and to our building. It is filthy. I did not realize it, but they fired the cleaning company over two years ago. So my building hadn't been cleaned for two years, except for the, there's only two employees left, and I guess they vacuumed once in a while. The floors haven't been mopped. The kitchen tile floor, the bathroom tile floors, the entryway tile floor, the carpets are awful. It's just un be believable. And so the guy that's supposedly in charge came to make sure everything was okay. And I pointed out about 5,000 things that were still there that weren't supposed to be there, except for the desk. Remember, they're going to throw the desk away. Oh, do they throw things away? I'm not making it up and I'm not exaggerating. In one of the offices, there was this beautiful, this color, seat lift chair, brand spanking new seat lift chair with the controls with a table that went over it everything beautiful seat lift chair for some reason the the man this company that rented our building they're renting another building in oklahoma city as well and so they took the employees they wanted to keep which i think was only one of them's left now in that building now there's two there's a guy and a girl over in that building it's probably i don't know five, seven miles away from us or something. So they're still there with their kind of business, which involves no customer service. So they're still there. So the guy who's in charge of that building came to our building. And so I was saying, this isn't supposed to be here. 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 And he was running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We should have done this. We should have done this. So there's a trash dumpster outside. It's one of those that they come and they dump every week. It was full. It was empty when we got there. Full. Absolutely full. No matter what we found, they threw it in that dumpster. That seat lift chair. I did not realize they were going to do this or I would have stopped it. I was standing in the kitchen and I saw the guy dragging the seat lift chair down the hall. The top of it had been removed. You know, the back comes off of some chairs and it comes off of seat lift chairs and you lift the back off and you can carry the back by itself. Well, he didn't. He, he lifted the seat lift chair back on one side and was dragging it down the hall by the other side. And I said, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I said, that's not how you do that. I said, that back can come off. And he said, I'm throwing it away anyway. He and his helper all got out into the parking lot and stuffed it in that trash dumpster. Um... I mean, if they hadn't torn the back up, we could have set it on the street and somebody would have taken it. They do that there. Um, we could have given it away to a little grandma. We could have given it away to a home health service. We could have done a hundred things with it other than tear it apart and break it and throw it in the trash dumpster. I'm telling you, this company is just something else. So I contacted, I emailed the president the president who dealt with us to buy the company. Oh, they're going to be the best renters we ever had. They were wonderful with customer service. They were so caring, so loving. They never fired any employees, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. So I emailed him. I said, this building hadn't been cleaned for over two years. I can't believe you fired the cleaning company. When you got the company, it was immaculate. The windows were all clean. The floors were clean. The carpets were clean. The desks were clean. The walls were clean. Everything was clean. Now it's all filthy. No response. I've had no response whatsoever. And the guy that's supposed to be in charge, he keeps telling me, now it's over with. It's back, it's ours again, November 1, that was it, they were out. So it's our, our issue now. But this guy from corporate keeps telling us that he's waiting. No, he's not from corporate. He's the one here at, our, at the other building. He keeps telling us, I'm waiting to hear from corporate. I'm waiting, corporate's in Indiana. I'm waiting to hear from corporate. So duh, we get the idea. They're going to do nothing. So 
you know, what can we do? Yes, I have a string hanging down. So I don't remember you wearing that, Joy. That's because I just bought it today. <laughs> it was warm when we left home. Warm. And I thought, oh, it might get a little cool up there. So I threw a sweater in. And I hung up this little thin jacket that just zips up the front. It goes with one of my outfits. And it is freezing up here. Freezing. I think it was a 43 of high today outside. Freezing cold. So I told Jerry, take me to Target. Target's across the street from our store. I said, take me to Target. I got to buy something warm. So I have, obviously, it, nothing fits me. You can see it's gigantic on the top. Two well, it's not too baggy. It's not too tight on the bottom, but it's certainly not a good fit. Um, I can't even pull up the sleeves because they're so gigantic. And I think this is a small. <laughs> right, a small. Maybe not. Could be a large. I bought a couple things. Um, but anyway, I've got a sewing machine here. I can take a tuck or do something. But And the pants. I hate pants that have these things. Hate them because I have enough fluff down here to start with. And if you tie this in a bow, in fact, I had it tied in a bow earlier and Jerry said, what's that sticking out of your pants? <laughs> so I will remove the string, put some elastic in, but right now I just want to be warm. Oh, I bought a Snoopy shirt. You want to see my Snoopy shirt? Hold on. So you all know I make all my clothes, all of them. I don't know last time I bought clothes at a store, at a clothing store. I can't remember. Usually it's just underwear. And I'll go, I, I buy towels and I buy underwear, but I never buy clothes because they never fit me. This one isn't too bad. It's actually not pulling back and choking me too bad. So I don't think it even needs a round back. So that's pretty good for that. Of course, it's got the giant wings up here. The gigantic wings. <laughs> but anyway, I found this top. And Jerry said, are you going to buy that, Joy? And I said, yes, I think it's adorable. <laughs> so look at my Snoopy shirt. <laughs> Let me get this out of the way so you can see my Snoopy shirt. So this has a hood. Is that the cutest thing? <laughs> I just love it. I don't usually like any kind of characters, you know, princesses or dragons or especially the skeletons. I hate those. But I just thought it was the cutest thing. Well, I, what I like more than Snoopy is that little bird friend of his. I love that little bird friend, but he's not there. So, I didn't get to have him. But anyway, I thought that was cute. And so, it has pockets, and it's got a hood, and it's warm. <laughs> so, I bought that today, and I bought this today, and then these sweatpant things. So, I have my sewing machine here my 570 or whatever it is um needed service i don't know if you remember i bought it it was somebody's trade-in a lady bought it and i don't think she even had 12 hours on it maybe not even that much she took it home and tried to use it and she decided she didn't like the computerized part of it it was too hard for her so she traded it in on a cheaper model and i came in i was up here um, I don't remember what we were up here for, but you remember we saw our friends, Deb and Jim, here? And we were up here for some reason. I don't remember what it was. But, um, of course, we went to be sewing. And I was looking for a machine for the coach. And I went back there, and she said, oh, it's on their table that they have stuff. They didn't have anything. And I said, don't you have any Berninas? And she said, oh, we just got one yesterday. She said, it's in back for service. We always service them before we put them out here. You want to see it? took it back, showed it to me, I bought it. <laughs> so it had not had its free service. Uh, the manager's name at that store is Jan, and I know her really well. She's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful manager, and she's really good to me. Oh, she hasn't called me back. I'll have to check on that. But anyway, um, she said, just go ahead and take it home, and next time you're up here in town, bring it by, and we'll service it while you're here. So that's what they did. So instead of that, I have, you can't see it, my 930 right here. So I have been putting buttonholes in dish towels today. <laughs> Actually, I've got so much to tell you. Do y'all have time? Do you have time? It's kind of late in supper time here, but Jerry isn't here. So I'll tell you what's going on. So our building, it's a big building. It's like 
over 5,000 square feet, commercial building, one story commercial building. Has a garage in the back and storage and whole bunch of offices and a nice kitchen and two bathrooms. So when Jerry and I got here, they had left the desk per our request. They threw every single thing in the desk away. The girls that were left here told me, Joy, they came from that other building. Three of them came and they just pulled out the trays, went out there and dumped them in the dumpster. Pulled out the desk drawers, dumped them in the dumpster. Pulled out the kitchen drawers, dumped them in the dumpster. I said, where's the attachments to the vacuum cleaner? They probably threw them in the dumpster, Joy. So the vacuum cleaner's there, but no attachments. Oh, unbelievable. So anyway, the desks are all empty. But because we asked them to leave them and not throw them away, a whole bunch of desks were still there. And they're really nice desks that Jerry and I bought when we started our business years ago. So we wanted to sell the desk. Like on um, Facebook Marketplace. Y'all know about Facebook Marketplace. I guess there's Craigslist and some other places. So we must have had, I don't know, 10 12 desks. We had a whole bunch of desks and they were nice desks, real big desks. They were the ones where I had a big desk, then a side piece, then another credenza behind them. They made a big U. We had a bunch of those and then we had a bunch that made a big L. Whole bunch of desks. Cherry. Cherry wood. So I took a picture of one of them. I thought, well, I'm just going to do a test and see if anybody wants these desks. So I just took a picture of one of them and put it on Marketplace. Right away, I heard from a lady. <laughs> right away, like yesterday. And she said, I'm interested in that desk one. Can I pick it up? And so Jerry went back. He went back to the store yesterday, even after I heard from her. Now Jerry's opposite of me. Of course, how else could he stand me? So I took a picture of the desk I put it in Marketplace and I put awesome desk and I put one picture. Jerry takes a dozen pictures of the desk and he gives them every measurement of it. So all of those desks took him hours. Measured all the desks, took all the pictures. I prayed yesterday, Father, please send someone that wants all the desks to start an office or a business or something. Send someone that wants all of them. Guess what? The lady that said she wanted the one desk that I posted is taking every desk in the store. There right now. She's already loaded a U-Haul up once. She's there right now. She's loading the U-Haul up again. And they are opening a business in Moore, Oklahoma. And they needed all those desks for all their offices. Isn't God amazing? <laughs> so the strangle that company <laughs> that was in our building. But um, I'm so excited that this has turned out so well. So thinking, I, do you really want to hear this, y'all? I'm going to tell you why I haven't been on TV. TV, like I'm really on TV, right? Why well, haven't been on YouTube? <laughs> thinking we were going to have to be here all week, you know, one desk a day, trying to get rid of all these desks. We reserved this RV spot all week long. So. Even they reserve Saturday and Sunday in case we still had to stay here. So we have paid through Friday. So since the lady came today and they're taking all the desks today, we're done. We are done. <laughs> we want to go back home to our house. But because we've already paid through Friday, this outfit here, it's called Twin Fountains and it's in um, Oklahoma City. It's only 15 minutes from our building. It's a great location. But um, she said, we don't give refunds. I said, this is just Tuesday. Couldn't you, you know, give us back Friday or Thursday or we don't give refunds. So we're stuck here. <laughs> so I told Jerry, I said, since we have to stay, I have not seen Margaret. I have not seen Mary. I want to see them so much. I said, could you just like stay home tomorrow or the next day? Home being the RV here in this RV park and watch Thunder reruns or watch OU football reruns. He said, oh, I'd love to do that, Joy. So I'm actually gonna have a vehicle. I haven't had a vehicle and I haven't been here. We've been dealing with this store and cleaning up all the messes there. And 
<sighs> so I apologize. I haven't even done a devotion this week. I have not felt very devotional. I can tell you that. Um, more like somebody needed to read me a devotion <laughs> and sing me a lullaby. <laughs> been much more like that believe me so i have been sewing you want to see what i've made i told you i was going to start a christmas tree quilt let me show you a picture stay with me so you remember this quilt right free pattern where's the free pattern at this is called toll christmas tree farm quilt 56 by 64 by gina martin moda and it's a free pattern free pattern from Moda. So if you go online and Google Gina Martin tree farm quilt, you probably can find a pattern for it. I think it's really cute. Only I didn't want red trees or black trees. I only wanted green trees. And my trees are outside trees. These are not in the house decorate trees. My friend of honor said, you need to decorate them. I said, no, they're outside trees. So I have two trees made. Now I've been here a week today and I've been to Hobby Lobby and who else sells fabric? Hobby Lobby, I went to the quilt shop and got a couple of quilt shop fabrics, so expensive. Got a couple at one of the quilt shops. Uh, there's another quilt shop, but the other quilt shop had a big sign on the window that said, notice giant red letters. You absolutely must wear a mask in our store and it must completely cover your nose and your mouth. I backed out of her driveway, parking lot. I backed out of her parking lot and went somewhere else. So I've been buying green fabrics all over the place. I think I have about 30 of them now because I want all my Christmas trees to be green, but I want them to all be different, a little, a little different. I don't want them all to have the same 12 fabrics in them. You understand? So I'm going to show you my first two i think they're so cute except i've decided that the trees in the woods gotta have a stem so i went to hobby lobby again today we were at the store the people were moving their desk i said jerry could i borrow the jeep and so i went to a different hobby lobby and i got some brown to make stems for my trees because i decided if they're growing outside they need a stem so here's one tree and here's two trees see two trees <laughs> so there's gonna be 12 of them and mine are not going to have any ornaments mine are gonna have snow falling I am going to quilt them with a pattern I think it's called let it snow and so it's got wind and it's got these big snowflakes and I'm gonna just have it coming down over the whole entire quilt so it'll come down over all the trees and over all the background and it will just be snowy <laughs> and green. So I'm enjoying that. I think that's cute. So Jerry and I have definitely decided we don't ever want to live in an RV full time. <laughs> it's wonderful for the purpose of this. When you need to go somewhere and you don't want to stay in a hotel and none of your family wants you to stay with him. <laughs> My brother did say we could come stay with him, which was precious of him. But um, they live way far away. They live 25 miles from here. And this is just real close to our store and we've got the RV anyway. Okay, my friends, I'm gonna check with Jerry, see if the people have loaded up their U-Haul um, truck yet <laughs> and when he's gonna be back because it's probably about six o'clock at night and I'm fixing dinner. I can, I can only eat out at restaurants so much. It's not like it used to be. It is not like it used to be. There is a little called Bar and Grill here at this place. Oh my goodness. We went there when we first got here. Number one, you, you wouldn't even find it if somebody didn't tell you where it was. And you walk into this room where there's some tables and chairs and a pool table or something, but nobody's in there. It's just empty and there's windows all around it. Well, then you go through another door and then you go in this little hallway and then there's this door and it doesn't have a name. It doesn't say we're a restaurant, we're a bar and grill. It's completely covered with caution tape, yellow caution tape, caution, caution, caution. And it wasn't for Halloween. It wasn't Halloween yet. It wasn't a Halloween decoration. And so Jerry and I are looking and saying, well, they said the restaurant was in here. Do you think it's through this caution door? How strange. Why would their door say caution all over it? 
So we open the caution door and we look in and there's probably three tables in there. And there's one lady standing behind this little itty bitty bar. That's supposed to be the bar and grill. And she informs us they don't have any help and it may be a long time. And if she's not there, she'll be next door in the bar. And where's the menu? It's right here, here's the menu. And so we look at the menu and it's wrinkled and it's old and it's dirty and it's only got a few things on it. And so I'm looking at it and I go, oh, there's a BLT, Jerry, that's a bacon, lettuce, and tomato. And she says, well, what else would it be? I thought, you witch. So we looked at it a little longer. I said, Jerry, I decided I just want to cook dinner. Let's, let's just go back to the RV and I'll just cook supper. He said, Joy, I cannot believe you just walked out like that. I said, you ought to thank your lucky stars I didn't tell that witch off. <laughs> so that was our bar and grill experience. There wasn't another soul in there either. Nobody was in there. The bar was next door and the bar looked pretty fancy and there were a couple couples in there, but nobody was in the bar and grill. So anyway, I'm going to let you go, but I did fill you in on what I've been doing and why I haven't been talking to you. You know, I miss you so much when I can't talk to you and show you what I'm doing. But in this little tiny RV, <laughs> I can't do that much sewing. And I haven't been here very much, hence only two Christmas trees. Okay, so miss you, love you, and I'll try to be back sooner than I was this time. How about that?